big advantage for, for underdogs. The other thing that I would say is that um, there's a different energy around uh, underdogs and around challenger brands. I mean, people are inspired by them. We love a story, you know, uh, that involves a challenger brand um, uh, sort of succeeding uh, against all odds. It gives us hope. Um, the other thing that I would, I would point out is that challenger brands, uh, they can be a lot more nimble than category leaders. Category leaders have large constituencies, large audiences with expectations, and challenger brands don't have that. Uh, they're, they're developing their audiences, and so they can be more nimble and more flexible. Um, it's sort of like, you know, a, a, a little quick bass boat uh, as opposed to sort of a, a, a big ore carrier or something like that. They're much more nimble in the water, if you will. Um, so lots of little advantages, and a lot of it has to do with sort of the energy um, that you approach the market.